a box. Are you in a box? My hair is a little crazy. Okay. Uh, hello, it's Rachel and welcome to my channel. So I finished this lady. She is done enough and I like her. I like her a lot. <clears throat> She's not perfect, but I like that I got a gradient and some dark tones, shadows in the skin. And I like my little chrysalis. So I also finished two paintings I don't really like and I am just calling them done. So this is supposed to be a fairy door and a tree. I, I don't find it very successful. And this is its little match which is supposed to be like a little fairy lantern house among wisteria which is my favorite spring plant. I love when the wisteria comes in. And I don't think I did it justice. Um, I was just kind of blopping paint on, you know, and not working from a reference. And But I do like how the flower petals on the roof turned out. When I put the little dots for the tiger lily, I didn't like that. So I took them off and I added a little more gloss, a little more shine. And so that's successful. I might add a couple little ladybugs to each of these, but maybe only this one because the other one it's going to count as one of my 24 paintings in 2024 but i don't like it and i'm moving on okay hey kitty how are you he's looking out the window into the sunlight speaking of sunlight total eclipse of the sun april 9th i am looking forward to that i don't know if i'll see you again before that but um I am gonna be able to see it. Don't jump up here, no. I live near Dallas, Texas, and that is right in the path of the eclipse. So we're gonna go even a little further into East Texas to be smack in the middle of it, and I'm so excited. Um, so I don't know if I can film any of that. I don't know if I'm supposed to protect my camera when I do. I got my glasses for my eyes and all that. But uh, yeah, I'll let you know how that goes if you are someone who won't be able to see the total eclipse, but I'm excited about that. And I am working on, I'm in the sketching stages of two paintings that are another kind of set and they're a little bigger, but oddly enough, they will help me or they will be practice painting small things. All right, so I don't know if you can see this very well, this is the same size as the canvas. This is just a, a piece of paper, but it's 18 by 24 inches. And this is Snow White's mother, her, his, her real mother. I changed a little bit, but this is the section of the fairy tale that it basically portrays. Once upon a time in midwinter, when the snowflakes were falling like feathers from heaven, a queen sat sewing at her window, which had a frame of black ebony wood. As she sewed, she looked up at the snow and pricked her finger with her needle. Three drops of blood fell into the snow. The red on the white looked so beautiful that she thought to herself, if only I had a child as white as snow, as red as blood, and as black as the wood in this frame. Soon afterwards, she had a little daughter, who was as white as snow, as red as blood, and as black as ebony wood, and therefore they called her Little Snow White. And as soon as the child was born, the queen died. 
Okay, let's get up the next one. So the next one is Snow White herself. So you can probably see how these two complement each other uh, in the pose. And so this, look at that teeny waist. There's a reason for that. Uh, there are actually three times the witch comes to Snow White. Uh, not just with the apple, that's the last time. The second time is a, um, a poison comb for the hair, like a decorative comb, comb, C-O-M-B. And the first time is colored bodice laces and she gets, um, well, I'll read it here. I'll read it. Snow White peered out of the window and said, good day, dear woman, what do you have for sale? Good wares, beautiful wares, she answered, bodice laces of all colors. And she took out one that was braided from colorful silk. Would you like this one? I can let that honest woman in, thought Snow White, then unbolted the door and bought the pretty bodice lace. Child, said the woman, how you look. Come, let me lace you up properly. The unsuspecting Snow White stood before her and let her do up the new lace, but the old woman pulled so quickly and so hard that Snow White could not breathe. These are going to be oil paintings on canvas panel. Excuse me. Whee! The background in both cases is going to have lots of little flowers on it. Uh, in the case of Snow White's mother, it's winter, it's in the snow. There will be snowdrops, which is another name for Snow White in one of the tales. And um, feathers, because of the line, uh, snow fell down like feathers. Uh, snowflakes fell down like feathers, I think. And um, in Snow White, even though she probably falls in the dwarf's house, I'm gonna have her like on a, on a summer ground. And so there'll be uh, different brighter flowers under her. And uh, if you are familiar with the old medieval tapestries like this, um, with all the little flowers, uh, that's called, that technique is called Mia Fleur, Mia Fleur, Mille Fleur. And uh, it basically means a thousand flowers. Um, I don't think I'll paint a thousand flowers but I will paint several. I'll uh, be painting small details, lots of fun transitions in the fabric, patterns in the fabric. So that's kind of what I got planned for these two guys. And I might end up working on these on and off for a long time and then start something else in the midst. But that's where I am now. Also, I haven't forgotten that in a poll on YouTube, Y'all chose that one of the things, or actually the next thing I should paint, and I haven't done it, um, is a Medusa as a Marie Antoinette with the snake hair going up. Uh, that is still planned for this year. Um, I realized snake painting be hard. So I, I wanna get a little better, and I will paint it by the end of the year, I promise. But, um, not quite now. And there is the added complication. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna get over it. That this is how I feel about and react to snakes. Watch this. They will fight as long as they have the strength. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Y'all are disgusting. Y'all are nasty. Oh gross. Oh, nasty. Oh my, oh my God, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Once the badger immobilizes the snake's jaws, it's game over. Oh, <laughs> oh gross. Yay, honey badger. I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch. I don't like them. They're creepy. They don't have legs. They move funny. Ugh. Anyhow, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to paint them. Maybe I'll get over my fear. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever have a pet snake. Nope. But um, I'll, uh, I'll paint it. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. 
and happy Easter. I saw this. This is uh, a yard near my house and it cracks me up. Happy Easter and I love ya. Bye-bye and I'll see you next time. Happy Easter!